The following video contains spoilers. After Wonder Woman, which female superhero should get their own solo movies? There are plenty of candidates. We have handpicked the most worthy ones for you. X23 We know this is an unconventional choice but we love Daphne Kane's X23 or the way we call it, The Little Wolverine. Never in the cinematic history has a character been so much loved after cutting a human head off. She should definitely headline her own film. We have been in love with her dad for years now and there is enough subject matter in his dad's life that a series of films can be made on little Wolverine as she grows up in the movies. We also love Daphne Keane playing the lead character. She was so great combination of cuteness and justified violence, the idea even got support from Logan director James Mangold. I thought she was just such a great character, but with what Daphne did, I think certainly that's possible. Said the man who made all of us cry in Logan. Black Widow Well, there's been talk about this forever. While almost all of her Avengers team members have gone solo in movies, she has been deprived of a solo movie while everyone believed it could work out pretty great. Both the Avengers movies were immensely successful at the box office and we have seen Black Widow also in Captain America and Iron Man movies. This character has been a familiar face to movie fans for years now. Scarlett Johansson plays Black Widow and that's all the more reason to turn this opportunity into a standout solo film. What more does Marvel need to finally make a Black Widow flick? Rogue Rogue has been an integral part of the X-Men since 1980s. She was a very important part of the early X-Men movies. Rogue's power is so unique that an X-Men movie centered on her could do wonders. On today's date, we probably shall have to cast a new Rogue for the role. Rogue has been such an important character in the comic books. Rogue can disable a human being or a mutant or a superhero by touching them. So essentially, she can turn mutants into normal people. That is what her powers are so incredible. Her love interest Gambit and she hooking up with Cyclops and Wolverine once or twice make a story for a motion picture that very people can say no to. She-Hulk Jennifer Walters needed an emergency blood transfusion and guess what? She got the blood from her cousin, Dr. Bruce Banner aka Hulk himself. She gets Hulk-like abilities but she is in much more control over her intellect and emotion. A woman with Hulk power and intelligence could only transform into a great action drama. The character has been linked to Fantastic Four, The Avengers and even S.H.I.E.L.D. So that offers Marvel future opportunities of She-Hulk appearing in their flagship franchises too. Jean Grey there has been rumors that the next X-Men movie shall be based on the Dark Phoenix. That is the story of Jean Grey gone badass. The third part of the early X-Men movies, X-Men The Last Stand, was evolving around Jean Grey becoming Phoenix and eventually Wolverine had to kill Jean who was the love of his life. Jean Grey is so powerful that Professor X and Magneto both recruited her together in her childhood. Cyclops and Wolverine have both fallen in love with her and her own personality turmoil between the good her and the badass her just give enough material for possibly the greatest female character and biggest female superhero movie ever. Let us know in the comments which female superhero solo movie you yearn to watch on the silver screen. Goodbye, till next time.